Hello and welcome back to more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead with Sarah Brown and company. Ooh, a little tiny child. I don't think we're going to... Oh god, you little bugger. You cut my pants. Well, you know what? You little... Are you kidding me? It's like the immortal uh, ninja child is going to beat the crap out of us. I've, I've survived, you know, tons of encounters this little run-through. And the first thing that damages us is a tiny little child. There's a little spider in here. I bet downstairs... Oh god, there's egg sacks. We are out of here. <laughs> oh god terrifying all right we're still on the lookout oh god i forgot all about the fact that this town is covered in nasty fungus stuff all right we're gonna avoid i think we're gonna try to avoid the western part of town everything else to the east i think of this line is relatively safe if i remember a lot of the western part is where the fungus stuff was at man i kind of want to start a fire that would just rampage through the entire town. Can you get item? Can you get like a massive fire like that, or will it always stop between buildings? Asking for a friend. I mean, we can easily. Uh, well, I don't want to start one here because this has food in it. We are inside of a butcher shop. Oh, I love butcher shops. Butcher shops. I always forget about this too. Butcher shops always have a ton, ton, ton of food. Um, let's come out here and uh, deploy our folded cart. We're gonna grab it. I want to make sure I want to make sure no one's following us here because the only way to get in or out I'm sorry why are we taking so much time to attack that should have been a very quick attack we'll clear them out as they come in we need a little bit more practice with the spear anyways I don't want to get trapped in this building because the only way out for the cart is through the front door so I do want to make sure that most of the enemies are not near us A lot of stuff on them. Okay, let's just wait a second here. Turn safe mode back on so I can spam. Wait. Okay, good. Let's grab the cart. I'm going to dump a lot of my items inside the cart right now. Let's uh, dump everything. That's going to do how much? Is that 31 or is that our inventory? Sorry. Oh, wow. We were barely filling up this cart. I love carts. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab. Oh, that was rotten. Shoot. I wonder how much food is rotten now. We have been playing for like 30 days or so. Cold bologna. Sweet sausage rotten. Oh, no. I don't want any uh, nasty meatses. What the hell are you? Uh, an old bulldog corpse. Have we been in here? Oh, God. That's awkward. Let's sprint down the hall. Let go of our cart and we'll finish off Mr. Doggo. They even look like a butcher. <laughs> I think it's the butcher of the store. Have we ran through here before? I feel like the doors are open. I don't, but I thought we would have taken the food. Maybe we sprinted through, and we weren't able to stay around. God dang it! There's so many dogs. Is this what they were cooking? That's pretty messed up, to be honest. There we go. Oh, that is gross. The implications of this. Oh my god! What the hell is that? Holy, scare the shit out of me on this table. I have like a heart attack. It's just a skeletal dog, but he looks freaking terrifying. I don't think he's any stronger. Yeah, he's just a normal dog. Good night. Okay, well, that was a nightmare. So I'm pretty sure this place was cooking dogs. That is really super messed up. Uh, a lot of rotten meat. How much stuff did we pick up that was rotten? Oh, that's super sad. I mean, not that they use dogs, but mostly because it's all frozen, or it's all uh, gone bad. Do we have any food? Yeah, we had rotten bratwurst. Crap. We, I mean, we are, you know, we are pretty much day 32 right now, so a lot of the fresh food would start to spoil. So we're really starting to look through uh, to the, you know, the, the canned items for our sustenance long term. Okay, continuing on, we're going to head back west. What is this? Apartment tower would be kind of tight. I don't know if I want to go into a small enclosed area i don't know pulteney might not have too much left for us other than raiding random houses uh there is a private park house fast food i think we missed a grocery store as well cemetery hardware store we can swing by that hardware store i think we've been to it though i want to say that we actually have been through most of the things in pulteney at this point what i'd love to do is maybe go visit this town to the north that is completely fresh and untouched by our hands. 
But I do want to try to grab as much stuff from Pulteney as we uh, we can grab before we leave. Also, I'd love to try to ram into that gun store if I can find a vehicle. I'd rather not do it with my cart around. What are you guys doing over here to the east? Is this a turret that's stuck? What's giving off light here? Why can we even see this? This is where the turret used to be. Oh my gosh, look at the hordes of zombies swarming the turret right now. I think it's out of ammunition, but still, that's absolutely nuts. Look at how many zombies are here. The freaking party. Oh, uh, yeah, we're not going anywhere near that. I think that's why we actually haven't gone to this part of town. Um, let's swing down and around. We should be able to avoid most of the swarm. Let me turn my... Well, I can't turn safe mode on yet. Because we're going to get paused every two seconds from these guys. Uh, and it is daytime. Surprise. So we're going to have hordes chasing us again. So I think at this point we'll go ahead and call this raid... And it's kind of meh. We were able to get some good items here. At least we know where there is... Uh, well, I don't remember if I remember where... Was it this finished, unfinished house? That wasn't it. It was an unfinished house of some sort. I don't quite remember where it's at. I'm sure we'd be able to find it again. Especially if we search for abandoned house or unfinished house or something like that. But we need to come back to the unfinished house, number one. Uh, we also, with the, with the science ID card. We also want to head this uh, back this way with a foldable crane so we can steal all of the lovely solar panels off of that solar car that's on the bridge. So... Uh, sounds like a good time to me. There is a park forest pool. Nothing else of interest. We have a crap ton of pharmacy stuff. I never thought I'd hit the day where I'd say something like, oh, we actually don't need to go into the pharmacy right now. We have an abundance of pharmacy items. This is the hardware store. Let's let's hop in here real quick. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's... It's got multiple entrances. I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that we're able to get out of here. Bucket... Hard hat, work gloves. We'll grab, we'll grab the hard hat. That might be useful to destroy. Metallic smoother. Jackhammer. I have no idea if the jackhammer is useful, but why not? We'll grab whatever power tools we can. Nail gun. Okay, they're all at the front door. Let's go ahead and turn back around and sprint to a door down here. Nice and wide open. Sounds good to me. All right, I think this is going to be it. Kind of a short trip, to be honest. Not. I mean, we could have raided every single house, yes, but I try to go into those... Uh, the targeted kind of a raid. Most of the items we're looking... Well, you know, to be fair, some of the items we're looking for would be off in someone's house. Like the food preserver, things like that. Uh, we're going to do the old transfer items from point A to point B. Zombie spotted, ignore. They're not coming after us. Let's fold up our vehicle. And I'm going to head home and uh, load this stuff up. Or rather, unload it. And I think we're going to come back and try to grab the stuff out of this car. Uh, or, alternatively, we can just say we'll come back to it eventually. Oh, God, please start. There we go. Uh, maybe we'll go up north. We'll see at the end of this uh, unloading process. Beautiful countryside in. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like coming and slammed through the wall. All right. Uh, let's stop uh, the vehicle, and I'll unload the stuff into the house. Uh, I think I want to get right back on the road. It's still, it's still super early. We didn't really get that much food, and I would love to get a little bit more food if we can. Let's take along this time, just in case this new town brings new challenges and new adventures. Let's drop everything. And we got our spear. I'm going to grab a little bit of food. We're only peckish, but we're going to grab... Did we have any food from uh, the pile that I just dropped off? Let's see. Do we have any food? I thought we had a couple of frozen items. God, there's so much stuff, and these the stacks are huge. There we go. Uh, we even have some flour, too. I think we can make some bread. I don't know if our if our skill is high enough or not. Um, let's put this all into the freezer for the moment. Let's go ahead and grab one of those tin cans of something. Canned pork and beans. Delicious. So I want to bring along... Uh, let's see. I want to grab... Let's do from all to my inventory. I want to grab a... First off, the ID cards. Let's grab ourselves a military and a science ID. Uh, next up, we're going to grab the stethoscope. Uh, then we'll do... Those lockpicks were pretty helpful. Whole stack, please. Do I want to bring anything like... I could bring the folded crane. 
or what's the folded something? Folded cart. Hang on, where did our... Oh, it's outside. Okay, sorry. Our, our folded crane is outside. Let's fold it up. We'll bring that. Uh, I think I actually managed to drop my folded cart, too. What else would we want to bring? We have... We have an, we actually have an extra toolbox now, so I might keep that in the vehicle in case we need it. Toolbox would be useful. Uh, we also can grab ourselves. Did I grab two of those or one? Just one. I'm trying to think of anything else that we might want for this little shindig trip out north. Pretty much just disinfectant, I think, is going to be it. I'll grab it from here instead. I think I dropped it somewhere I couldn't figure it out where. Uh, disinfectant here, we'll grab that. Otherwise, I think this might be okay. Grab our folded crane. We'll put everything in the back of the truck. Or the uh, the, uh, the uh, car. We are 41% battery, so that wasn't bad at all. We were able to go all the way down to Pulteney and back. I think I'm going to follow the forest here. I might have to do a bit of a trek through the wall of forest. Depending. This, is, this looks like a big town. This might be bigger than or uh, the same size as Pulteney. Honestly, it almost feels like it's bigger than Pulteney. Just with the sheer amount of houses here. Do we do should we maybe pack up long term? No, okay. We'll do we'll take the we'll take the um the solar car out for a scout. And if it's a place that has a ton of stuff, and if we can park the RV close enough, we'll go ahead and load some stuff up for a bit of a couple day road trip raid. And that's what we'll do. Alright. We'll treat this as a scouting trip. We'll figure out what we need to bring back with us. And we'll head up to the north. I'm sorry, is there a cow just sitting out in the middle of the field? Um, we're going to have to take a bit of a detour. Let's turn back around. Oh my god, I just ran right into a tree. Very, very smooth. I'm going to go back to the base. I forgot my... I forgot a couple things that are useful for hunting anyways. So, uh, we're going to go back. I'm going to grab a... I'm going to do a complete stop so I don't dive out of a moving vehicle. Let's grab... Go to the controls. We're going to grab the longbow... Wherever the hell that's at. Go to inventory longbow. Bow sling with longbow. Let's also grab a knife or... What would we need just to do some butchery? Just Can I just search for knife? Multi-tool. I think a multi-tool. Seriously? We don't have a... M oh, I'm out at the, the tool pile. Okay. Uh, let's look up here. Actually, weapons pile too. Alright, let's look for knife first. Uh, steak knife, Swiss army knife, pocket knife. I think I'm just going to grab the multi tool to be honest with you. That seems like that would do the, the do the deed, as it were. Let's go ahead and wear or wield the bow sling. All right, we're going to go back and find that cow because I want to hunt down the cow. I know that's horrible. Is there any reason to raise it? Like, would you can you get milk from cows yet, or or eggs from chickens? I mean, can it, is that a possibility yet or not? Because otherwise, I'll just ignore it. All right, where are you at, Mister Cow? We're going to have a great old time, my friend. You're going to be the first time we've ever hunted an animal, though. That's really exciting. Let's go ahead and wield our, uh, or unwield the spear. Activate the bow sling. What the hell? Did you, like, sprint off? Are you going to be a pain in the ass to fight? You shouldn't be skittish. You're a cow. Yeah, you're, you're chill. You're a super chill cow. You don't have any arrows. Did I seriously not have anything in my quiver? Oh my god, you guys, I'm so dumb. Alright, here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to store it in the bow sling. Let's wield our steel spear. We're going to attack this cow. We're going to hunt like our ancestors did. We're going to do this crap paleo style. Can I throw my spear? I don't really want to damage it. Let's not walk on... There we go. Uh, let's not walk on any bushes. We have successfully, <laughs> in all of its challenge, imagine someone with... Oh, <laughs> to add like... A better mental picture. We were chasing this cow down on rollerblades in the middle of a field in a trench coat army hel a helmet with a spear. So, you know, there's your mental image. Um, full butchery is requires a rope in a tree or a butchering rack. We don't have that table leather tarp for in good tools, okay? Um, we're not going to be able to get that near nearby tree. We can do a butcher of field dress me combined with other methods for better effect. This is going to remove the internal organs and viscera to protect the corpse from rotting from the inside. Okay. Skin quarter. 
Quartering a previously field dressed corpse will acquire four parts with reduced weight and volume. How about we don't do anything for the moment? Let's just get our damn car. And we're just going to put the whole thing in the trunk. And we're going to take it back to the uh, to the barn, to the ranch, and then we're going to take care of it from there. Because I think we'll be able to just make a tanning rack or whatever the heck we need to do all of our magical uh, cow murder things too. Let's pull it right up next to it. Good enough. Sorry, Mr. Cow, but you're going to feed me for like a week, I hope. Let go of controls. This might change my entire episode. As sad as that is. Uh, can we drag Mr. Cow? We can. Let's go ahead and dump you in the trunk. That's so messed up. <laughs> um, 1,500 weight. Destination area. 600 and... Oh, crap. It's 680 volume. That's interesting. All right, so we are going to have to do a bit of it. So we're going to have to quarter it, maybe. Field dress it first. Got it. Field dressing. Field dress corpse. And we're exhausted. Fair enough. Oh my god, there's a slaughter. Harvested raw liver, kidney, stomach, things like that. That's fine. Okay. Uh, now we have butchery refuse, sinew bone, stuff like that. So can I now do my quarter? Yes. We roughly slice the corpse of the cow into four parts and set them aside. So now, can we possibly move them... <laughs> Move. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, can we? Quartered cow corpse is chopped up. Okay, we can move a bunch of stuff. Um, let's do this. Let's move as much as we can in the ground. Everything below the truck. And we'll cheat and do that little neat little below the ground trick uh, to move stuff into the slot. So move everything of the kidney and stuff. Uh, we'll take the bone and sinew. That's going to be helpful for uh, for crafting. And this is about all we can do. Can I wield the cow carcass? You can always kind of cheat a little bit. Oh god. We're like cr getting crushed under the weight. I think we can drive with it. <laughs> we're... God. The mental image of this game sometimes. We're basically in a trench coat, wearing rollerblades while driving an electric vehicle, while carrying... What the hell? Are we stuck on a flipping bush? Seriously, we can't we can't power on through a bush here. Okay, mm okay. Uh, but yeah, we're just kind of plowing through a field with a giant quartered cow corpse in our hands, because that's how you hunt efficiently. I'm really excited about this corpse, though. <laughs> Things that you're not supposed to say in a YouTube video for a hundred, but whatever. I I don't care. I'm excited. Let's turn off the vehicle and... Oh my god. Please don't die of having like a, a hernia. From trying to move this stupid thing. Let's wait a second so you guys don't blow your eardrums out with the heartbeat. This game is a, it's a beautiful thing. Tell your children. It's truly... It truly is magical. <laughs> Alright. Let's move everything out. Um, I didn't mean to bring the gear too. Let's move that back into the vehicle. Um, this kind of stuff can go back in. This, this, this. Uh, ID card, ID card. Disinfectant. And we'll take the rest of the stuff inside. Super excited. So, what can we do with you? Um, can we further butcher... There's so much stuff. Let's do this. Let's move the cow stuff out. I accidentally kind of meshed the piles. So that's not going to be very helpful. Um, cow? Bruised cow carcass. Okay. What happened to the rest of the cow carcass? Didn't we have, like, bruised cow carcass? Was it something else? Shoot, now I'm confused. I thought we had it in different... In kind of, like, a different pile. Okay, here's all of the parts of it. Did I leave any of it back in the car, or did I maybe drive off without it? It might have been so heavy that it went through the bottom of the, the actual vehicle. Okay, so what can we do with you? Full butchery is going to still need a uh, butcher rack. So, butcher rack. Metal butchering rack. Hey, how about that? We can also make a butcher knife, or get a butcher knife somewhere. 25 butchering. I probably should have looked for that at the actual butchers. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and make a metal butchering rack. Steel chain, long... Let's use the long rope instead of the chain. 
All right, we are now wielding a metal butchery rack. I'm guessing we want to keep this outside. Let's go ahead and deploy this there. We will gather our moo cows. Um, so press B, full butchery. A table nearby or something else with a flat surface to perform the butchery. Okay, fair enough. We're going to grab our table. Or this table. Let's, um, move, everything's kind of in the way here. Let's move you and move you over a notch, or no? I have to actually apply, take this down, and then set it up again. Okay, and then maybe I can do something like, uh, let's see, this, you, two, here. Okay, one more time. Full butchery. Yep, sure enough, we are butchering the crap out of this thing. Uh, we harvest bones, sinews, scraps of meat. We failed to harvest a lot of other stuff. Well, I think our survival is what goes into play there. And that's not super duper high. What did we actually manage to get? <laughs> two, oh, seriously? Two scraps of meat? That sucks. That's rough. Here's all the livers and whatnot. Let's bring this outside. Can we make anything with this, by the way? We, like, just crafting from here? I think we're going to need a fire pit or something to cook on. I have to still look at uh, putting in a, what would you call that? The uh, stove, the fire stove. Hobo stove? Small improvised wood stove made from a metal can or similar container the right size. Uh, defrosting and reheating food. That's funny. Um, what can we put for actual cooking? Was it? Maybe I had it because I was near my book last time. I thought I had a different uh, kind of a stove. Nope, not really. I thought there was a wood stove somewhere, too. I could have sworn I saw a wood stove recipe. Oh, you know what? There it is. We can build a wood... Oh, we can actually build it right now. Wood stove for heating and cooking. Much more effective than an open flame. All it needs is a metal tank of 60. Oh, cool. Uh, this isn't going to require rocks because all it needs is a metal tank. And we actually have metal tanks to spare. That's convenient. Well, cool. We'll fill you up right now. Uh, we'll mark... Let's see. We're, we're going to be centered right here. So, Or actually right here is where we're going to be sitting at. So we'll put the pile to my southwest as our firewood source. I think all we have to do is move it, move something in there once. Let's move one log into the fire. Actually, just like some splintered wood, and I think we'll be able to start it. Cool. Um, so we've started a fire. Hopefully that's not going to spread to the entire flippin' house. We have... A couple pieces of meat, so let's bring this over to the fire. What can we actually do now in the food section? I That's the other problem, is everything's outside. Boiled stomach. 260 calories. Cooked kiver, kiver, cooked kidney and liver. Bone broth. So lots of good stuff here, actually, that we can use. Um... The problem now that I'm facing is that we probably need to bring, like I was talking about before, we need to bring the fridge and everything inside. So let me do that real quick, and I'll be back. Okay, after a night of sleeping and doing a little bit of work, I've moved the refrigerator parts inside, and I kind of wanted to make one more change. I want to um, visually give myself a bit of a, a split. So I'm going to remove the mini freezer from one, uh, install it to the other side. Mm, there you go. Okay, and this is going to help me know that, okay, I'm going to put all my refrigerated items here and all my frozen items here. And I think we can actually, we'll be able to kind of keep everything together. Let's put all of our food if I can. Let's see, you're, is it underneath our feet or let me reset our inventory. There we go. Uh, go to the south. Let's move as much as we can in. Oh, we can move all the food in right now. Okay, cool. So nothing's working yet because we don't have a battery on this side. So I think what we're going to have to do is shoot. Swappable battery storage. Battery case. We have a battery case on both sides. So, do we just need to grab a battery itself? Let's go ahead and do... We're going to pillage a bit of our vehicle. I think we can still run with one storage battery. 
Uh, so we're going to need our cart that I put in here. The engine crane, rather. Okay, go, go, gadget, engine crane. I said go, go, gadget, and Google, my Google uh, opened up. That's kind of creepy, to be honest with you. Okay, let's remove the battery itself. Okay, that's done. So, we're going to start breaking. Okay, let's just drop it and just carry the damn thing. We'll drag it along the ground. There we go. Drag it inside. So, if it's by itself, can I install it in the center piece? Car battery. Car battery one of four. Did it specify what we used, though? I think it just took a random car battery in there. <laughs> so we can't in, we can't specify what kind of battery storage battery that's what we need is the storage battery that we have so let's do this let's remove said car battery come back and grab our crane right and then we're going to install in the center the storage battery okay it's under our feet so I think that's all we needed to do it, I guess it doesn't need this swappable frame, then? We remove the swappable battery case. What is this for? A battery case for storage batteries allows quick removal or addition of store a storage battery if you can lift the battery. Allows quick removal or addition of a storage battery. Is it just... Oh, having the case means you don't have to have any tools. Otherwise, I think... Let's go back here. Did we just, like, solder in this battery? No, it's it's still able to slot in and out. It All it requires is your strength. No skills, no tools. Let's look, just for fun, I want to remove it. Let's reinstall it real quick. Quick air quotes. Storage battery. Okay, <laughs> so I, I am basically wasting my, my, my uh, acetylene torches charges. So... To when you're installing it by itself, you're actually having to use your tool in order to, to basically adhere it to the vehicle. If we were to remove, I think, if we were to remove the swappable storage battery from this vehicle, swappable storage battery case, as it were, let's carry that inside, uh, bring you to Jean. So let's install the swappable battery case. So hard to say. Swappable storage battery case. Installed. I think maybe now, if we try to install the swappable storage battery, yes, sure enough, all we need is the storage battery, no additional tools. So this is what, excuse me, I got the hiccups at an inopportune time. This is all we'll have to use in order to bring up a fully charged battery from outside inside. Excellent. And on that note, we need to remove our swappable storage battery because it is rather empty. What we're going to do is do a bit of a swap seat. Gonna remove you, my friend. And we're going to install. Oh crap, how can we tell which one's which? In doing the okay, we're gonna actually have to drag this bad boy. We'll put you and install you. Sorry about the noise there. I know that's not the most pleasant of sounds in the world, our heartbeat pounding in the ears. And we'll install this storage battery outside. You know, it's honestly not that bad. That wasn't all that challenging to set up. So here's basically, our, we're going to have a solar array outside somewhere, right? We we let this just charge up the battery. It's going to take four days until it gets full. Um, if we were to turn on, I think we have to do this from the center. Do our vehicle electronics. Turn on the fridge, turn on the freezer. It's going to take two days until it empties out at 47%. So four days to charge it, two days to empty it. Right, we're not going to be able to run this all the time. Uh, we could try to go back. And we will go back to the other vehicle on the bridge at some point and grab those reinforced solar panels. And I'm sure we'll be able to find some others and we'll be able to make this fancy solar array. Although, does it need, does it need something else? Springs. Can we make springs? We probably can. We're pretty smart with fabrication. Maybe just spring? Yeah, okay. So, but we need to swage. Is it swage and die or swage and die? I would think it's swage, but I don't really know what the word is. I mean, it's like it's a tool and die set. But either way, hooray, we've got stuff. So, we're sitting in a range of all of our food again, right? Yes, all of our food is here. Let's not start a fire with the damn battery on it, though. That seems not good-ish. Let's move the battery away. Let's go ahead and start a fire on the fireplace. Now, we've got a fire going. 
all of our food is in range. We've got a bunch of extra stuff. Hooray! This is what I wanted. I want to see a little bit more items here. So why don't we try to batch uh, cook the broth. Ten broth. That's going to be quite a bit. Shoot, do I have somewhere to put it to? Like a container to store it in? I think I've got some... Um, pour it on the ground. I think I've got a two liter tank. That might be enough. There's still some left over. Pour it into a container. Another two liter tank. I think that was it. Okay. Let's also, let's try to cook all the raw stuff first. Oh, we can make vegetable soup now because we've got the broth. Oh, this is so cool. Let's go ahead and do um, liver. Oh, we actually already can make liver and onions. Cooked liver. Let's batch this. Holy crap. 20 cooked liver. Uh, yes, please. How do we, how do we prep this for long term though? That would be my question. Oh, obviously the freezer, right? But I'm a little worried about... Um, I would I would like to do some kind of a, a drying or something like that. Methicola, what the hell? A potent cocktail of amphetamines, caffeine, and corn syrup. This puts a spring in your step, a fire in your eye, and a bad case of tachycardia tremors in your somersaulting heart. Oh, it's beautiful. Dehydrated vegetable. Oh, that's something special. I'm trying to see if there's any kind of pre uh, preparation. We still have more liver left. Wait a minute, did we finish it all? We have 20 cooked liver. Holy crap, we're going to have a crap ton of food here. Hooray, we finally are going to get a crap ton of food. Yay, 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 yay. We'll eat just... Oh, it's so gross. We're just shoving our face full of liver right now. <laughs> I hope you're not bothered by that. Um, let's go ahead and batch the kidney too. We'll cook the kidney, kidney up. Oh man, we're gonna we got to be some hunters or something. Like, this was incredibly valuable for us. How do we go? We went to Very Hungry. That's what bugs me. We just had 10 pieces of kidney, which in theory, very high in protein, right? Does, doesn't it even tell you? What? Our cooked liver's already rotten? No. What? Did we, did we expose it to something? Let's, let's dump this, um... The non... Hang on, I gotta get it off the ground. Wow, that went fast. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and dump the uh, the cooked li uh, kidney and raw liver into the freezer to start prepping that. That sucks. We lost all of that stuff. Alright, what else can we cook here? We should be able to make the broth. So let's go ahead and make some... Can I batch some vegetable soup? We'll batch a little bit of vegetable soup. Uh, we'll use cucumber... Tasty, tasty. We'll probably just eat it, to be honest. What? All oh, the broth went bad, too? Oh, that's such a bummer. Where did my... Where did the actual broth go to? Butchery refuse rotten. Large stomach rot. Where did the broth go? Vegetable soup dirty hot on the ground. I think I actually just used all of the broth. That's a super bummer. Maybe I'm messing something up here. Can we still make vegetable soup? It requires broth. One of eight. We have eight broth somewhere. Where's the broth hiding? Large stomach that's rotten. I spelled broth wrong. How about that? Let's do a search for all. Broth. Where, where do we put this broth? Is it down here? Raw liver cooked kidney. Guys, I seem to have lost some broth. Has anyone seen my broth? Let's grab the onions. Let's grab the stuff that we can't have out of the fridge, actually. That's rotten as well. Let's try to get everything that we can't have in, a, a, like, an area outside here that we're just not going to get mixed up. I'm honestly super confused about what happened with the broth. It's like floating in some kind of nether region. <laughs> We're never going to be able to find it again. Uh, okay. Let's go back to food. I, I'm still confused about that. Where do you go? Make you out of broccoli. Seasoned salt. Oh, do we not make broth? Maybe that was the problem. Let's just consume the damn broth. I don't think it's bad. Hooray, broth. The question marks. All right. Fish soup. We've got some hard tack we can make from the wheat. I think we can only make one of these. So it's 280 kcals. 
but it's only one portion. I don't want to waste the wheat. I kind of want to turn the wheat into wheat seeds. Um, the, unfortunately, the large boiled stomach is rotten, if I remember right. So we're not going to be able to do too much with that. That's fine. At least we tried it out. You know, we know that it was... is. We pretty much have to bring the corpse back immediately and get it done quickly or else it's going to rot. So, good to know, for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and we are a little bit hungry, I guess, somehow still. It is 7 o'clock at night, though. This is a really good time to get going on the road. So we're going to grab ourselves a energy drink. We'll grab ourselves some of this protein shake. We'll, cr we'll chug that protein shake. The fire should die out, by the way, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, back to what I was doing before I spent this entire episode talking about a cow. Literally, this entire episode is about cooking a cow, you guys. I, I don't know how you managed to stay with me through all this, but I thank you so much. I hope you're entertained by my cow murder. Uh, we're already almost to the point in the episode where I would normally put a cut in, too. So I think, uh, why don't you stay with me until we get to the town of Mysteryville to the northwest. I'm just trying to focus on... I, I hope I don't see any more animals. I don't want to go through that again. What the hell? Okay, there's a helicopter in front of us. Uh, pretty big crash. That's fine. I might come pillage those one day, but I'm not as worried about it right now. I'm more worried about a freaking T-Rex in the middle of nowhere. A giant fly. I hate... What is this? A desolate barn. That's not terrifying at all. Why is there a barn out here? Where'd it go? It's off to our left. Let's curve around here. I think I saw something once about a, a haunted barn or something. It's a spoopy barn. Oh, cool story. We're going to be able to go right into this town. Okay, this is definitely going to be RV worthy. I think what we should do is get an... Oh my god, are we near a stupid swamp again? I hate these uh, these little bastards. There's a, an amoeba... Oh no, the, the amoebic mold is when you see a bunch of these corpses lying around. That's pretty standard for the course. Uh, what were these guys? There's an internal climate ICBM. Yeah! Not ICBM. <laughs> Intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missile. Yes. CBM. This will regulate your temperature, I think. Awesome. Let's grab that science coat, or uh, science card, rather. Do any of you guys have a clean suit? I don't think you would. Oh, ooh, there is a clean suit here. Is there a hazmat suit, then? No. Let's run around to this guy. We're going to grab his clean suit. Remember, the clean suit can be used as part of another outfit that we're trying to do, which is the, like, the survivor, uh, the survivor suit, I think, or something like that. It's going to help give us a lot of protection. Otherwise, I don't think there's too much here that we'd want. Ooh, electronic circuit theory, uh, theory. Let's grab that. Yes, please. You are the most loveliest batch of corpses I've ever seen today. Let's do, close the door here. Ever since that cow, <laughs> you're, you're right up there with the cow and how awesome you are. I still don't understand what these things are. This is a random rattling beads. Is it? I think these are artifacts. I read about it before when we were... We, I think we came across another one. I don't want to touch it. I'm fairly certain I'm just going to die spontaneously. So, um, let's talk about next episode. Oh, do we have any meat again? No, we don't. I want to get one of these damn dogs. Uh, we have a brand new town that we are going to be able to kind of roll up in our RV. So, I think what we should do... There's an NPC here. I don't think they're I don't think they're an enemy either. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna finally be able to meet an NPC friend? Find out more next week. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Until next episode, my name is Tobol. Thank you so much for your time. Take care.